How's it going everybody? So where are we? Apo Island, Negros Oriental Province, Philippines. Who is swimming here towards us? It is a hawksbill turtle. <clears throat> now, these are actually, I believe, critically endangered. So there are not a lot of places where you can see them. However, in Apo Island, they're not even particularly rare. So this is a very nice marine protected area on one side of the island and there's only very limited fishing in the rest of the island because tourism is really thriving and you can see how this turtle is probably scraping off some algae I also have seen them eat sponges and other benthic invertebrates so Apo Island is actually a part of the municipality of Dawin and Dawin is seven kilometers away from Apo. In Darwin, on coastal Negros Island, you see way more green sea turtles. And the green sea turtles are always grazing on seagrass. Whereas these hawksbill turtles with their you know, hawk-like beak, they are much more into taking these benthic invertebrates off the reef. Now, you know, these sponges, all of that doesn't have a lot of nutrients this is very poor quality food basically in terms of caloric density and proteins hence you know these are slow moving animals they preserve energy they're really chill because you know they can't afford to spend much of the little energy they get now same day different side of upper island this is at a dive site, I believe it's, it was in Chapel, and this is a sea snake. So this is a yellow-lipped sea crate. Even though some of my friends at uh, Silliman University Marine Lab believe there might be Philippine endemics. So the genus is Laticauda. So this might actually be different species than the Laticauda columbina, which is normally found in the Indo-Pacific. So very, very curious animal. These can actually take up oxygen through the, their skin. So they have actual underwater respiration. They're not just gaining oxygen from the breath hold and you know from the oxygen oxygen stored in their tissues and in their lungs and you can see this has been already more than a minute now that i've been following this sea snake and they, they barely breathe it's actually very rare to see them breathe so this one is going along the reef very different to the sea turtles which are just grazers this animal is a predator it's a hunter and it's hunting a small a cryptic you know uh, crevice living fishes like eels and so it's looking for a crevice where there is a fish which cannot escape now the relationship of these two divers is neutral they don't really attack and that's good because they're highly highly venomous animals but they're also not not really bothered by divers however when i was following this one it decided to go deeper and deeper and at the depth of 31 meters which we're going to reach in a minute and you can also see that the light is becoming greener and grayer here so this is an indication that we're really deep so at 31 meters i just had to let the sea snake go because i didn't want to risk being separated from my body going much deeper than that and fascinating animal always a pleasure to observe their very elegant swimming style and yeah, diving in Apo Island is something else, you know, seeing a snake underwater is a kick, you know, this is not something you would normally expect, there are these harmless little colorful fish and all of a sudden, you know, there's a, a one meter plus very venomous snake, which fortunately, you know, doesn't go for you, but still, 
this is a exciting animal to follow so have a good one and see you soon bye my book